Today, we are going back to the basics and defining what is RFID. Let's do it. Welcome to Tech Made Simple, where I take modern technologies, hardware, software, and break them down to make them easy to understand. I've really focused on RFID over the past few months and realized I never even defined the simple question, what is RFID? As a former engineer in the field, you can get so coupled to the technology that you forget some people hardly have any experience in that. Did you catch that? Coupling, it's an RFID term. <laughs> Comedy, not my thing. Moving on. Let's start by looking at two definitions that top the list with a quick Google search of what is RFID. The first definition is RFID, radio frequency identification, is a form of wireless communication that incorporates the use of electromagnetic or electrostatic coupling in the radio frequency portion of the electromagnetic spectrum to uniquely identify an object, animal, or person. Did you catch that? I'll do it one more time. RFID, radio frequency identification, is a form of wireless communication that incorporates the use of electromagnetic or electrostatic coupling in the radio frequency portion of the electromagnetic spectrum to uniquely identify an object, animal, or person. Clear as mud. Let's look at the second definition because that's a bit easier to digest. Here we go. RFID is an acronym for radio frequency identification and refers to a technology whereby digital data encoded in RFID tags or smart labels are captured by a, re are captured by a reader via radio waves. RFID is similar to barcoding in that data from a tag or label are captured by a device that stores the data in a database. RFID, however, has several advantages over systems that use only barcode asset tracking software. The most notable is that RFID tag data can be read outside the line of sight, whereas barcodes must be aligned with the optical scanner. So this definition used a comparison of barcode as sort of a method of explaining the use case for the technology. Personally, I don't like either one of these definitions because one, I feel like the first one you can't understand unless you have an electrical engineering degree from a university or you're just insanely intelligent. And the second, I really don't necessarily like using applications or comparisons to define a word. So I'm gonna give you my definition, which is kind of a combination of both of those definitions, but I'll also break down the three main components of an RFID system, which will give you a significantly better understanding than those two definitions that we just heard. RFID is very simply put as using radio waves to identify an object. Just as your physical driver's license or ID identifies you, RFID uses invisible radio waves to communicate specific data as to what an object is. So how does it work? Well, let's look at the three main components of an RFID system to better understand how this actually happens. We have tags or smart labels, hardware and software. Nothing earth shattering with those three components. So starting with the tags or the smart labels, this is the actual RFID antenna that's attached to the object and is programmed with the data that identifies that specific object. Now there are many different frequencies of tags that all fall under the category of RFID. There's the near field or HF tags that can be read with your phone by tapping it in the near field. There are tags that require a, a scanner that you can read for up to 50 feet away rain technology or UHF. And there's also some RFID tags that can be read from miles and miles away. But again, all of these fall under the category technology of RFID. So our second component is hardware. And that is such a generic category, but putting it simply, it's all the physical components that are needed to communicate with the RFID tag. Listing a few are the RFID reader, which is what actually generates and transmits the radio waves that are doing the communicating. 
And then you have the reader antennas, which is actually what sends or propagates the signal out and also receives it back from the RFID tag. And component number three, you have the digital side of the RFID system, which is the software. With only the first two components, you have communication taking place without any visualization as to what is transmitted back and forth. So the software interprets those radio waves, which is a term called modulation, and turns the binary frequency radio waves into alphanumeric characters that make sense to us as humans. Again, this is a generic overview from a former RFID engineer of what RFID technology is. And it isn't claiming to answer every question about RFID, but simply explain the technology so you get the concept of what RFID actually is. With that, I hope this video brought some clarity to what those long textbook definitions may have caused. And as always, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe if you like content like this, and make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want 